Um, and then it takes what's called a proper, um, prepared statement setter. That's um, something from Spring. And what that does is it takes a prepared statement and it sets the values in it. That's its job. And then the next parameter, so we've got parameter, comma, parameter, comma, parameter. This next thing here is the actual row mapper. So the row mapper, again, this is interface. In the past, you could have implemented it as a standalone class, maybe as a static inner class, maybe as an anonymous inner class, inlined right there in the code. Um, but again, what you had to take here is a result set first parameter, int as a second parameter, and then return an object that you instantiate. That's, that's the goal. So here we see that. We have two parameters, rs and ronum. That's this result set and this ronum. We don't have to specify the type uh, if it's uh, straightforward there. And then this arrow here is uh, Java 8 Lambda. We're saying basically this is the argument list and this is our, our function. So we're pointing over here to the function. And what this does is this just says create a new person from results at get string one, results at get int two. And if we look here, we had the select name and the age. So the name is the string, first position, and the age is the integer in the second position. So it's a very streamlined way to implement this row mapper interface just as a lambda function. Has anyone written lambda functions already? Java, a few people. In other languages, maybe? A few people as well? Okay. So if you have any questions, just ask. Um, I'll show another example here. This is the uh, simplest way you could do it if you want to have it a bit more spread out, formatted a bit differently. You can actually add in the brackets there so you can have your uh, arrow lambda function pointing to uh, a code block there. So basically the body of your, your function. And then you can have multiple lines executed within there. And here we see that as well. But now we have the uh, explicit return. So we could have had several lines here to do something programmatically, um, whatever we need to do, and then the end return. And again on this one, if we uh, write it in one line like this, this new person, that ends up being the return value. So we don't have to actually use the keyword return.